you know, people say like, oh, it's not, it's nothing personal, it's just business. Well, it's all personal. It's all personal. So let's eliminate that from our vocabulary. Uh, it's all personal. Um, I just, I, I personally think that it's important to have that personal, personal aspect of your business brand. Um, businesses want to connect, or people want to connect with the business, and that means that they're going to, they're going to have to connect with someone within it. So whether that's you or not, but there needs to be a face, I believe, of, of a business. And especially as the market corrects, especially as the economy um, starts to crash, which it's going to, when that happens, people are gonna continue to do business with the people that they feel like they know. They're gonna continue to do business with people that they can feel like they trust and that they actually have a relationship with. I did an interesting experiment on one of these live Q and A's the other day, and I said, how many of you guys feel like you know me? Like legitimately, in the comments, say, I know you, if you think like you know me, if, if you feel like you know me. And these people put, I know you, I know you, I know you. And I went through and I'm like, okay, so Joe Schmo here. I know Joe lives in you know, Arkansas. Uh, I think he's a general contractor, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the extent that I know about Joe. But Joe just said he feels like he knows me. And he feels like he knows me because he's gotten on all these live streams, that he's seen all this content come out every single day for the last two years. And so, if Joe was potentially a customer, potentially a client, and all of a sudden the market goes, whoop, and he needs services that he knows that I offer, guess what, he's gonna come to me. Uh, there's a couple really important ways that I like to phrase it, and this is the first. Personal branding just weaves together your life and your work in the form of sharing your life's work. That's all it is. It's not that complicated. So the question is no longer if you have a personal brand. So let's, show of hands, who, who here is like really building their personal brand? Anybody? Okay, cool. I was thinking that everyone was gonna raise their hand, but I'm way more excited that it happened like that. Because here's the thing, every one of you are. It's just whether you're cultivating it or you're letting it be defined on your behalf. So it's really not that complicated. Again, back to Elon Musk shooting rocket ships in the sky. People try to overcomplicate it, but all it is is it's your reputation. And in this context, it's your reputation online through social media. I think one of the reasons why it's become complicated is because of social media and because of the people that just wanna sell you something on social media. If I can complicate something for you, then I can probably sell you something to uncomplicate it, right? Disrupt or be disrupted. Are you gonna let others create your personal brand, or are you gonna create your personal brand? That's the question. I promise you, I will never be disrupted. I will never be disrupted. And the only ones that will be disrupted are those that are not actively pursuing building a personal brand on a daily basis.